Hi everyone, it's uh, Mr. Honeyman here talking to you guys. Uh, it's apologies for the long absence between my emails, but it's been a kind of crazy time of year uh, with all the high school transition stuff going on. But I thought it was a good time to let you guys know some of the things that we're doing in class. So first, the reading map test was going to be given on Thursday. Uh, it's a great idea to always make sure your kids get a full night's sleep and some food before they take any of those high stakes tests like that. Um, this map test is going to be one of the pieces that um, places the kids into classes next year for high school. Um, so whether they go into honors or the on level classes, for example, um, that along with the last week we did a high school writing sample test that we got from the high school kids, I think crushed it from what I've seen on their writing. Uh, that's another big piece that puts them into their, which classes they're gonna take next year. And then finally, we also do teacher recommendations. It's my goal to get as many kids in honors as possible. And I'm willing to fight as many battles as I need to, to make that happen. Um, so secondly, I want to tell you guys what we're doing in class right now. We're in the middle of our second big literature unit called The Power of Fear. Um, in it, we look at several short stories and short thriller films to examine how the creators are building suspense in their work. It's got two big focuses. First, we kind of do literary essays where we examine how the authors are building suspense um, and then write paragraphs or, long, or, or a couple paragraphs to kind of explain our thinking. And then second, the kids make their own suspense stories. Next week, we're going to start drafting them um, and hopefully have like a polished draft to turn in before break. Then after winter break, the kids are going to get into groups and um, choose a story to kind of try and film together. Um, and it's the end products are really, really awesome pieces. Um, but this is such a great unit with tons of writing and reading. We do the Telltale Heart, we do the Monkey's Paw, we do the Landlady, and my favorite, we end the unit with Ray Bradbury's The Whole Town is Sleeping. Any of those can be found really easily with a quick Google search. Um, third, I wanted to show you guys some cool stuff. We've got some features in the classroom like our mentor text wall. All the things on there have been pulled from the students writing, from their polished pieces of writing. So we've been doing a lot to try and like celebrate some of the great work that they're doing. I'm really seeing a lot of improvement in the kind of things the kids are writing about and what they're saying. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this throughout the year. Um, I have some that I need to do for next week. So I'm gonna keep decorating the hallway with some of these wonderful words the kids say. Um, we're also crushing reading. The kids have read over 400 books this year and are just impressing the heck out of me. Um, I love seeing it. A kids will finish one book and tell their friends that they have to read it. And now I've got kids, like eight kids have read, read the same book. It's, it's truly great to see. Um, and finally, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we're gonna have a fundraiser from four to eight at Sonic on Lincoln Highway in DeKalb. If you're interested, um, use the attached, uh, what do you call it, the attached flyer in the email and uh, show that from four to eight and we will get a hefty, a hefty percent of the sales. Um, of course, if you didn't want to, some families have said they don't want to participate in the fundraising or the um, like buying things, but they're happy to donate money if they want. If you would prefer to do that, please feel free. Just uh, send the checks over to me, make them out to HMS if you are interested. As always, guys, my door is, is open. Um, transition to the high school and this time of year can be really stressful for the kids and as, for the families too, especially if you've never done it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Um, and we, I will be able to, happy to answer any of your questions. Um, awesome. So have a wonderful life, guys. We'll see you.